They also have on the table some examples of things that can be recycled and they cannot be recycled in little signs. Plastic, paint cans, glass, paper bags, cardboard, and a stuffed animal. And I'll show you the other side. And then also some more glass. And some roofing. Uh, looks like asphalt or that can be converted into roofing material. And it's picked up. And so going by what we just saw on this exhibit, you can see for yourself whether it's recyclable or not. This is Ed Fallon with a member of the Iowa Legislature. And so also at that program that was given at the Des Moines Social Club, I met a couple of uh, interesting people. Um, actually, several interesting people. Uh, one was Ed Fallon, um, and he has a podcast uh, here uh, in the Des Moines area. That's 98.3 WOW FM. It's called Fallon Forum. There's a website. It's www.fallonforum.com, and then Fallon is F-A-L-L-O-N. You can reach him at 515-238-6404, sorry, 515-238-6404, or you can contact him by email, and that's fallonforum at gmail.com. What I found out, um, and his catchphrase is, fusion of politics and civility. What I found out when I read the City View, um, and this is the February 24th City View, that Ed Fallon is considered the best do-gooder by the readers of that uh, local weekly. From 1986 to 1992, Fallon organize, organized the Iowa stretch of the Great Peace March and founded the Des Moines Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament. From 1993 to 2006, Fallon served seven terms in the Iowa legislature, focusing on the needs of constituency groups treated unfairly by government are neglected by the, the majority of policymakers, and he became a leader on land use, the environment, reforming tax increment financing, opposing corporate welfare, marriage equality, prison reform, and campaign finance reform. All right, so according to them, he's bringing local progressive talk radio to Iowa. That was a very interesting encounter. Um, he was accompanied um, by someone Paul, uh, Dan Kelly. Dan Kelly is a representative in the Iowa legislature. He's a Democrat and a recent arrival. He represents the Newton area and we spoke about wind energy and trade issues uh, which he also has uh, a very uh, intense interest in as well. And we talked about TPI which is located out in Newton and I'm going to show this picture Oh, excuse me. This is from Job Dig, which is a local weekly paper, um, and they have a website, www.jobdig.com. Um, it turns out that TPI is currently hiring for manufacturing associates. They're recruiting for their Operation Newton, where they produce blades for generating wind energy. Their hourly positions uh, in the wind blade uh, operation. Associates will be involved in building wind blades. Starting wage is $9 per hour to $12 per hour plus shift pay. Great benefits following your probationary period, medical, prescription coverage, dental, vision, vacation, holiday pay, batching 401k, accelerated wages, and much more. So, <coughs> excuse me. It turns out that you'll need a high school diploma or the equivalent. Previous working experience in a manufacturing environment is not required. 
but you must be able to communicate well and there will be a large focus on teamwork and flexibility including job rotation. 18779277587 and that's extension 120 or you can just go to www.appllytpi.com Good luck to you. <laughs> and the question of is it recyclable or not? These are the snacks that we're eating tonight. And these are recyclable. You know how that's done. Also, there was a lot of information given out at that COSC Connects forum from different um, people who bought exhibit space. DMAC um, handed out information on their continuing education programs. This is the Neighborhood Resident Leadership Program. It's on their urban campus. The classes run from 7 p.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. at night. You can call 515-964-6800 to register. And it looks like the first class is going to be March 3rd, the Thursday, March 3rd. All right, so it looks pretty interesting. Um, it's These classes kind of involve community, neighborhood organizations, uh, leadership, uh, relationship building, planning, fundraising, things like that. Okay, another announcement that I found out is this Natural Living Expo. It's going to be Saturday, April 2nd through Sunday, April 3rd, and it's going to be at the Polk County Convention Complex. Another announcement from them is Earth Day in the Junction. It's the 5K Run and Walk, and that's Sunday, April 17th at Valley Junction. You can call 515-222-3642 for more information on that. Um, there was also an organization called Keep Iowa Beautiful. They had a newsletter, which is pretty much full of lots of information and what they're up to. On the back, there's another announcement. And this is the First Impression Symposium. That's going to be Wednesday, May 4th at the Riemann, I hope I'm saying that right, Riemann Gardens, Iowa State University in Ames, and the theme of that symposium is Planting the Seeds of Green. You can call 515-323-6537 to register. Alright, so that was a great program given by COSC Connects. Um, lots of information from lots of different people and just a very positive gathering of people who shared their thoughts. So I'll do a quick pan. 